What's up, folks? This is DJ DVP or Robotronics09, depending which channel you know me from, and I am bringing you another episode of The Fixer. I've been gone for a while, but um, I've been doing some rearranging in the lab. Actually, uh, this is my new workspace. Kind of, uh, well, I have to show you like a full picture of it, but anyway, it's the new little workbench I have. But today we're going to be bringing you a uh, repair, a simple repair. Um, it's also dealing with um, the eighth inch phono plug, but um, I'll show you the a close up picture. But um, this one's been broken as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple, basic uh, job, soldering job. We're going to replace uh, maybe five or six inches of this cable with a new plug um, as, su as such. So, um, I'm gonna show you briefly what tools you need for the job and we'll get started. So, for this job, I have uh, my soldering station. Of course, if you have a soldering iron, that'd be great. This is really a basic job, so you don't really need um, the temperature control. Of course, you need some solder, um, a pair of uh, third hands or alligator clips. Um, of course, I have my safety goggles, as always. An X-Acto knife for myself, a pair of wire strippers, and there is the wire that we will be replacing. Oh, of course, this this was a big kicker, uh, heat shrink. Um, <clears throat> actually, it was out of heat shrink, and um, I was going to go to Home Depot, but I looked at the prices on heat shrink, and it's outrageous, so I will be ordering it online from Amazon. So, uh, and also, last but not least, uh, a heat gun. Got a nice heat gun. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for this repair, like I said, I'll be replacing about six inches worth of... Um, cord, broken cord, with this new cord. So let's begin by, let's, let me pull some of this out. I'll just mash it up. <clears throat> As so. And let's take my uh, wire strippers. Oops, if I can get my hands around them. Cut it. All right, get rid of this. Get rid of this. I'll throw that in a trash actually. And here's our new uh, two pieces that'll go together. Unfortunately, <laughs> they're not the same color, but that doesn't matter, as long as it works. All right, I will begin by first. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can use these wire strippers to get the sheath off of this. Now I'm actually, I'm trying to strip it further back. And the reason why is because we're gonna be using heat shrink and because we're using heat shrink, <clears throat> excuse me, because we're using heat shrink, I want to give myself enough room to actually put the heat shrink in there. And actually, that's the wrong side. Let me try this one. <clears throat> well, so much for my wire strippers. There we go, a little difficult. So once I strip the wires, as you can see here, you have the ground, which is the kind of the, uh, the outside wire. Then you have the red and the white. So just try to separate these out. I normally twist the ground back up. <coughs> just because it's a little bit easier to manage that way. <clears throat> now we, you see we got the red and the white and we got them all separated. Let's go ahead and do the other, other wire as well. <clears throat> see if I can do a little better with the uh, strippers this time. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought I cut off the uh, ground. Actually, their ground is already is not a um, is not wrapped around. It's actually already braided up. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna try to strip this using my old method of doing it with the uh, X-Acto knife. This is the way I actually learned how to strip wires as a young person. I wouldn't necessarily advise it. it well, I mean, it's not really hard. You just gotta know not to use a lot of pressure. <clears throat> use a lot of pressure with 
uh, the exacto blade. You're not trying to cut through it. You're just trying to cut it, cut the uh, the outside sheath off of it. So I normally run a little uh, line on the top, and then use my thumb or my finger to give be my guide to run it on the bottom. I slide it until I feel feel it touching the copper, the blade, the edge of the blade touching the copper. You can you can tell the difference when you're just cutting the plastic. It feels one way, and then when you get actually to the copper, the you can feel it. So this takes a little practice. I find that to be well. I mean, a good pair of strippers are invaluable, but if you don't have the wire strippers, then you can make do without it. Okay, so now I've matched that up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tin the wires. If you haven't seen my other videos before, tinning the wires is basically putting solder, putting solder on the tip. And basically that, that keeps the wire from unraveling and also makes it easier to um, connect the wires. Move this out of the way. I already have my soldering iron. I heat it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of solder to the tip of my soldering iron and then let me see if I can get a closer view here and then I'll take the tip, touch it to the edge of the wire and then apply some solder to it and it should coat the wire in solder. I'll just do a portion of the ground wire not all of it it may take a little bit longer to heat up because there we go all right solder iron back in let me switch out the wires in the holder i should say uh, let me do the same thing with the other solder and iron dab a little bit on the tip bring it in all right got that one got that one and that's why <clears throat> yuck hey breathing solder okay we're almost done Use my little third hand clip here. Make this a short and easy job. Now, here's the here's the the really the the most important part that I normally mess up on. You got you got you have to remember. You have to remember to put the heat shrink on because <laughs> it is it's nothing worse than going through all this trouble to try to do a nice little soldering job and realizing that you've left your heat shrink off. <laughs> And I've done that very many times. I've done that quite a few times. That's why I'm stressing to you guys to take the time to make sure you got your heat shrink on before you solder everything back together. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut these, cut the little white piece of heat shrink, cut it to size, so that I can slide them on. I, I do really enjoy this new work area because uh, it's helped me to organize myself a little better. All right, I'm gonna cut this little, um, I'm gonna cut this little bad end off. There we go. I gave myself a little bit of room over here. I'm going to cut about this much off. <clears throat> Slide it on the white. Make sure you can see that. Got that slotted, sl slid on. another little piece off like I said this is real important because you don't want to solder it all all your joints together and then realize you hadn't put your heat shrink on got the second and then we'll do a third just for um well really I don't I'm not even gonna do the last one because it's gonna be covered up by the whole joint <clears throat> which I'm debating if I should use this I don't think this black is I think this black is actually too large but I may be able to Compensate with some. Uh, I may compensate with some electrical tape, so maybe I can get away with the black. Maybe. 
we'll see. All right, so. <clears throat> got the heat shrink on. Let's get in here and do, let's do the red first. Like I said, um, properly tinning your wires makes this job so much easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little solder to the tip of my soldering iron. Add a little solder to the tip. Solder iron, bring the wires in together, red on red, oh. Yeah. And then just lightly touch them and hold it. Double check my joint, make sure it's a decent one. It, it looks like it's pretty decent. So I got I got that now. Let's do white and black. <clears throat> Hopefully, red and red did match up properly, and so it, so the right and right is right and left is left. Okay, now we're gonna do. We're gonna just briefly touch. Those are both pretty solid joints. All right, so now, oh, you know, see there? See exactly what I was talking about. Exactly what I was talking about. You see that? I have to take those joints apart. Thankfully, I caught it before I was, well, I didn't have that much to do, but thankfully I caught it. So I'm gonna break these back apart and put the solder, and put the heat <laughs> shrink on. I wanna use this black, but I really don't think it's, I'm gonna try to use it. All right, I'm cutting it shorter a little bit. Like I said, I need to I need to pick up some more heat shrink. All right, so now you see here. Let me let me zoom this out a little bit. See what I've done. I put the I put the heat shrink on the tube and the little ones. And now when I start them together, I can go back and push this back over. Okay, now let's do that correctly. Thankfully it wasn't a big, I wasn't that far, far along. All right, so solder on the end of my soldering iron, put the reds together, touch, hold, Put the white and black together. Touch, hold. Those are, got a pretty good joint. I see a little solder nub on my, uh, on this connection and get rid of that. All right, let's get the grounds together here. I tried to straighten out my wire, so I'm probably gonna heat my finger up a little bit since doesn't have a uh, shield sheath on it. Whoop. Yep, I sure did. Ooh, nothing like touching some hot metal. Okay, uh, it feels pretty good. All right, let's just slide these uh, pieces of heat shrink over. Uh oh, I think there's another little nub on here. Yeah, let me get rid of, I don't know if you can see that right there, but on that red, on the red connection, there's uh, some solder that, there we go. Some excess solder. Okay. Uh -oh. All right, we got those on there. So, with that being done, <clears throat> I'll just hit it briefly with, well, actually I should probably test this before I uh, heat shrink it all together, just to verify. So let me go um, and test this, and then I'll heat shrink it and we'll be done. Okay, and I checked them and they work just fine. So, I definitely, uh, just as a side note, I definitely advise you to always check 
uh, your connections before you 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 wrap them up um, soldered wise, heat shrink wise. But now I got my my heat gun. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it over these uh, little pieces of heat shrink. I don't mess up my unused ones and now let's bring I'm actually going to take some tape there's a little piece of metal a little piece of wire sticking off clean that up so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually run a little bit of tape over it first just to bulk it up a little bit I actually didn't have the right size of heat shrink well I had some tape here it is I'm gonna take some tape and just uh, bulk it up just a little bit and then go over with the heat shrink. You know, I found out that uh, good electrical tape is hard to find for some reason. Um, I've gone to the automotive stores, gone by my neighborhood Walmart, gone by Home Depot. I keep running into this crappy tape it's all vinyl but some of it's like this is the good stuff what I got right here it's uh it's very flexible it sticks well but I keep running into this other stuff that's like I don't know I, I just whenever I wind up buying it I just I'm just so disappointed um, anyways so just wrap that a little bit I could have wrapped it a lot more or whatever. Try to bulk it up. And uh, hopefully let's see if it'll shrink to it. All right, here we go. Looks like I'm, I'm fortunate to get away with it on this piece. But I do need to get uh, another assortment of heat shrink that has the right, right sizes. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let it uh, let it cool down, and bam, there you go. You got a repaired audio cable. That'll do it for this episode of the Fixer, folks. I will bring be bringing you a lot more as I continue to fix random things. Uh, that are given to me um, So definitely stay stay tuned if this has helped you be, be sure to like it and share it and um, I'll see you again on the next time peace That I can't fix